again to press the play. Open. Open. Now, so on deep palpation, there's also no palpable tenderness. Now, I would like to palpate for more than mega I would like to check when in large liver, check when in large brain, and also balloting the kidney. I would like to first start by balloting the kidney. Alright? I'm just going to place my nose. Relax, relax. I'm going to place my under the patient, and I will lift the patient up myself. No, you stay, I will lift you myself. I will lift the patient up myself, and I will press down to see if I can feel the kidney. And normally, it should be able to feel, so I don't feel the kidney. So, no enlarged kidney on the, on the left. Now, repeat the same thing here. I press down. Just relax. So no large kidney on the right here as well. Right, so the patient has the kidneys are not balotable. There is no renomegaly. Alright. If there was renomegaly, it may be suggestive of hydronephrosis or polycystic kidney disease in an adult. Alright? Now I would like to check for hepatomegaly. You check for hepatomegaly, I'll start from the right lower quadrant. Alright? Take the patient to relax. And then I'm going to tell the patient to take a deep breath. As the patient is breathing in, I'll be pressing in. Take a deep breath in. Out. Okay, deep breath in. And out. In again. And out. You do this trying to squat as well, as much as you can. In again. Out. In. So we can feel an enlarged liver again right here. Alright. Then we'll repeat that for spleen, start from the umbilicus. We squat again, take the breathing. And out. In. And out. In. And out. So I'm going to the right. And I'm just going to put my arm, I'm going to try to press underneath the left costal margin. Like this, take the breathing. And out. Alright. So on, 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 on deep palpation, when the liver edge was palpable, two, two finger bread below the right costal margin, the spleen was not palpable, all right, and the kidneys were not palatable. Now I would like to move on now to check for peritoneal signs, all right. Um, yeah, I guess I'd like to move on to check for peritoneal signs. So I want to first start by checking for morphine sign. To do morphine sign, I'm going to press underneath the right costal margin. I'm going to place my hand on the right costal margin and tell the patient to take a deep breath. As the patient is taking a deep breath, and I'll press in. Take deep breath for me, please. And out. So, morphine sign is negative. Why? Because there was no arrest of inspiration while palpating the right upper quadrant. Alright? If there was an arrest of irritation, that meant that meant the gallbladder was inflamed. But there was no arrest of inspiration, there was no sign of tenderness in the patient. So, morphine sign is negative. I would like to check for rebound tenderness. All right. So, do you have any pain here? No. All right. So, I just check for rebound, and the patient has no tenderness in doing rebound by pressing in and out. If rebound, if there was rebound tenderness, the tenderness will be worse upon releasing the finger after pressing it. I would like to move on to check. Are you okay there? I would like to move on and check for rubbing sign. So, I'm going to press on the left lower quadrant, and if there is tenderness, it will be on the right lower quadrant. All right. I'm going to press here. Do you have any pain? So, there's no tenderness. On the right lower quadrant, I'm pressing the left lower quadrant. We have seen sign is negative. I'm going to check now for psoas sign. Keep your legs straight and lift it up, please. Now, don't let me push it down, right? Don't let me push it down. Do you have any pain here? No. So, we have seen sign is negative because there's also no pain in the right lower quadrant. I'm pushing the stretch, lift your leg. I'm going to check for obturator sign now. Go lift your leg up. All right? You don't have any pain in your legs, do you? No. All right, just go legs internally and externally. Okay, no. so obturator sign is also negative. All right, so at this point, I would like to draw the, the, trousers, the trousers up and check, just relax, and check for any, look for any redness of the shin, any sign of erythroma nodosum. zone. All right, as you can have in case of inflammatory bowel disease. I would also like to press and check for any PDE man. All right, just two seconds. All right, and there's no PDE man as well. Thank you. So, uh, at this moment, thank you. At this moment, I would like to auscultate the, the base of the lungs to listen for any pleural effusion, as you can have in people that have hepatic hydrothorax. Although there's no sign of liver failure here that would necessitate me auscultating the base of the lungs. I would like to finish my examination, all right, by doing a pelvic exam to check for any inguinal, inguinal lymphadenopathy.
party to check for any bone and hernias as well. I would like to do a urinalysis to check for blood and protein, which may suggest kidney problems. I would also like to check the blood pressure of the patient in case there was any pulsating pulsation in the abdomen to check for bisecting aortic aneurysm. Alright, so what else would I also want to do? As this is a male patient, I would like to also do a digital rectal examination, alright, and also examine the external genitalia. If this was a female patient, I would want to do a vaginal examination. And a vaginal examination, I would be checking for any bleeding, checking for any clots. I would also be checking for cervical motion tenderness and for any adnexia tenderness and adnexia masses as well. Alright? And what would you want to what test would you want to do in the urine test for a pregnant woman coming to do not pain? I would also want to do a pregnancy test to check for beta HCG. Okay. What would you want to check for in a digital exam? Well, I want to check for inner sphincter tone. I would also want to check for any skin types as you can get in Crohn's disease. I would want to check for fistula, check for any fissures as well. And also for any blood or mucus in the stool. That's in case of osteoarthritis. colitis. Alright, um, once I wanted my exam, and I will want to thank the patient and give the patient, come back, drink the patient again and give him his gun. Thanks. Okay. Stop.